So today, hitting 93 for our highs was a nice, cool start to the day, though, with 45 and heating up pretty nice. 93 for our highs. But we're going to take a look at the record that was set back in 2002 of 100 degrees. Well, we're going to be seeing those temperature and highs coming back for the end of the week and into the weekend as well. So hopefully you like an early summer because that's what we're going to be seeing for the end of April and the beginning of May. We are going to be seeing winds continue to come in from the south for the next several days, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, keeping us very warm. We're seeing right now some low 90s for a lot, some in the few lucky Menard and Brady in the upper 80s as well. But we're all going to be seeing summer-like conditions for May 1st. And winds, yes, are going to be pretty consistent with gusts actually getting a little bit stronger. We're going to see about 30 mile per hour gusts early in our days and seeing 10 to 15 miles per hour consistently throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. So tonight getting down to 63, a little bit on the cooler side, but we're even going to see lows start to get warmer and get into the upper 60s and a few 70s as well. And then Friday, 99 for our high. So, of course, a few are going to be getting into 100 as well. So very summer-like, and that is all because what we're having over us is going to be having a low pressure and dry line. That thing just doesn't move for the next several days. So we're going to be seeing plenty of warm air coming in, both at the surface and in the upper atmosphere. And since we're not seeing much change in the upper atmosphere, we're not going to be moving that low pressure out or seeing any cooler air behind that just yet. We will, though, for next week, but that's after seeing 100 for Saturday. Sunday, seeing 100 as well, and same for Monday. Of course, since we're hitting 100s very early on, we're going to be seeing the potential for some records to be broken during our highs for those days. But then, by Tuesday, we're finally going to see some cooler air. Not a big blast of cooler air just yet in early on our Tuesday, just entering the state. That's slowly going to push south, and we'll start to see actually some showers coming in. Now, it is going to be happening late in that Tuesday, so plenty of sunshine. A warm start to the Tuesday. Going to still be in the 90s for our highs and keeping it clear for most of the day. It's going to be an evening to overnight thing that's going to be happening on Tuesday as that front pushes through. Right now, looking to be a, a pretty widespread showers out towards the eastern counties. Brady, Mason, out towards Junction as well. Could see one or two actual storms in there with a little bit more lightning in there and some stronger winds because we have so much energy in that atmosphere since it is going to be so warm on that Tuesday evening and into Wednesday. But then we finally will start to see it clear back out as we go into Wednesday. Have some clouds being a little persistent and sticking around. But then we'll get sunny back and we'll get 80s coming back as well. So I know it is several days away and we have to get through the very summer-like conditions until that happens. So maybe the pool is open or maybe think of some fun summer activities as we go into the beginning of May. Friday hitting 99 and then Saturday and Sunday 100 on Saturday. So not that bad, but then we're hitting 104 and 105 by Sunday and Monday. And yes, look at these lows. Hitting 69 and both Saturday and Sunday as well. And then even getting some 70s coming back for Tuesday for the lows. So even as we start our days, still seeing very warm conditions as well. And then Tuesday, that's where that cold front's going to be coming through. It is going to be some late showers. And of course, since we're seeing it in 90s and plenty of warm air is still continuing into Wednesday, we'll have the potential to see a storm or two with that with stronger winds and some lightning. And then some cooler air gets back. 80s for Wednesday, even as we go into Thursday, getting mid 80s as well. So 85. So there is hope on the horizon for some cooler temperatures. But what we got to get through first is summer like conditions 100 degrees and even though we're not seeing much activity that is going to be going on it's just going to be hot and warm we are under the severe weather season for us here in the Concho Valley so of course you've been hearing us talk about it we do have the severe weather special that is going to be happening tonight at 6:30 both here on KLST and KSAN we give plenty of information on severe weather what we can expect for the Concho Valley precautions to take as well for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes and things like that and even going to some of the science behind what we see with tornadoes forming why severe thunderstorms become severe thunderstorms and what uh, we need to have before they become those severe things so of course that's gonna be happening tonight at 6:30. so of course if you want to see that just stick around and if you do miss it unfortunately but we will have it on our website at contravalleyhomepage.com